Okay, hey everybody, it's Thursday, it's time for your tech video. Tonight we're talking about thermal compound. If you have any idea what thermal compound is, just stop watching this video now, because you're probably not going to learn anything new. Okay, thermal compound. It's also called all this stuff. It's got a lot of different names. I'm not going to read through the list, but there you go, there's a lot of different types. So, you might be asking yourself, what the fuck is thermal compound? Well, when you're using a computer, the CPU gets really hot. There's a lot of power going through there. And thermal compound helps take the heat from the CPU and move it to the heat sink, which spreads the heat, hopefully, out of the computer. And uh, without that, the heat just doesn't travel as effectively from metal to metal. It just goes better from metal to thermal compound to metal. All right, so there's three different main types of thermal compound. There's metal-based, which is the most effective, um, it's a little bit more expensive than the other kinds, but the bad side of the metal-based is it's also electrically conductive, so that can cause problems if you apply too much of it, because um, it can conduct electricity. Okay, there's ceramic-based, a little bit less effective, but does not conduct electricity. And there's silicone based, which is a little bit less effective than ceramic, but it's the cheapest. All right, here's the CPU. So what you want to do is uh, take a rag with some rubbing alcohol on it and just rub off all the um, old thermal compound. And rub it off the heat sink too. All right, so we're going to be using some Arctic Silver for this. Take off the cap. And the, really the trick is to not apply too much and not apply too little. Um, what you really want to aim for is about a grain of rice. Now I was just put the uh, heat sink on top. And when you place the heat sink on top, it's going to make it spread around because, like, gonna apply a lot of pressure and spread it around.